postscript to my most recent video <clears throat> when I I need to expand what's included in this anti-fertility so we're looking at medical like at Atlanta I believe is the uh, head of the CDC Seattle is where the uh, Gates family comes from. Um, New York, specifically, I think it was New York that um, they passed a bill, a law. I, I thought I remembered this happening where they actually, the Democrats actually cheered this in Congress when it passed were or or it was in New York State so whatever that they could perform abortions like up to and inclu including birth it was basically infanticide was legalized any activity that is anti-children anti fertility and anti-children sanctioned or allowed or even encouraged uh, removal of um, the fertility organs making one infertile uh, any kind of medical procedures that in that cause infertility, let me say, people who encourage the harming of children in any way, or the elimination of the ability to reproduce in any way. You need a pee pee to make a BB and the BBs must be protected. So it's not just the Tuckers and and the and the Albumers, but the vaccines, the the birth shuns, the the birth shuns people, any any organizations, people, places that are associated with the Holly Weird. I didn't mention them in the previous video. I think this is going to be really big, y'all. Like, worldwide judgment. I I don't know how or how this would be, except to think about Martin Vreeland's work. And the Phoenix and the dome splitting. That uh, the Lorax got hoisted and taken somewhere. And why was he hoisted and taken somewhere? Well, some people say, I don't even remember how it goes now. And that's the Lorax. It's not. Uh, Enoch walked with God. It's like people are going to be miraculously. People who don't support this, people who are not subject to this judgment, are going to be protected like Lot's family was. But I, I, I don't know the mechanism by which that's necess necessarily going to happen. I, I, I have only seen a few videos that have people who have seen this, have been shown this. And it seems very much like a, uh, I've heard it described in a way that makes me think of Glenda the Good Witch of the North's bubble. I've heard it described as flying unicorn, uh, unicycles, flying unicycles. I've heard, um, I don't know, Greenland. The movie Greenland, there was a Prime Fire event. A uh, Prime Fire is from the TV show The One Hundred. 
in Greenland, they all went into an underground bunker, and the whole world was destroyed by fire above them. Like, they came out, and the whole world was destroyed by fire. So I don't know what the mechanism would be to protect those who are not subject to this this coming event. I don't know. But uh, it's massive. It seems very much Dolores Cannon-y, like Earth Splitty sort of stuff. Martin Vreeland, the dome splitting, the fertility. It's a it, it's about fertility and children. It's about protecting the children and the birth rate and eliminating all threats to it. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why the hokey pokey is what, what this place is all about. But I made another video also that I wanted to point out and I had forgotten about this, but it was like 138 years from Noah's Ark to Sodom and Gomorrah. I had forgotten that I made that video also. It's very short. It's under a minute long, like 30 some seconds. And it was pretty recent, sometime in the last month. And then there's the Target Tucker video and the live show I did yesterday. And this one here. Because I wanted to expand my definition to include places and organizations that are also anti-fertility. Yeah, so it, it's not just the Tuckers and the Panda Eye people, but vaccines and abortions too. And there, there might be others. I don't know, y'all. My mind is really quite blown over this. Uh, yeah.